text, and they shall no more offer their sacrifices unto devils, after whom they have gone a-whoring. This shall be a statute for ever run to them throughout their generations. Leviticus 17, 7 Commentary Verse 7 And they shall no more offer their sacrifices unto devils, as it seems they had done, which was monstrously shocking and especially by a people that had the knowledge of the true God. Such shocking idolatry has been committed, and still is among the Indians, both East and West. When Columbus discovered Hispaniola, and entered it, he found the inhabitants worshippers of images they called Zems, which were in the likeness of painted devils, which they took to be the mediators and messengers of the great God, the only one, eternal, omnipotent, and invisible and so at Calcutta and Pago in the East Indies, and in other parts thereof, they sacrifice to the devil, one can hardly think the Israelites would give in to such gross idolatry as this, wherefore by aid evil so may be men idols in general, for if men do not worship God and Christ, let them worship what they will, it is only worshipping devils, 1 Corinthians 10, 20 Revelation 9, 20, and so the calves of Jeroboam are called devils, 2 Chronicles 11, 15. Hence the golden calf also, the Israelites worshipped but lately in the wilderness, might go by the same name, to which sense is the Targum of Jonathan. A e and they shall not offer again their sacrifices to idols, which are like to devils. The word here used signifies a egotza and these creatures were worshipped by the Egyptians, and so might be by the Israelites, while among them, this is asserted by several writers. Diodorus Siculus says, they deified the goat, as the Grecians did Priapus, and for the same reason, and that the pans and the satyrs were had in honor by men on the same account, and Herodotus observes, that the Egyptians paint an engraved ban as the Greeks do, with the face and thighs of a goat, and therefore do not kill a goat, because the Menzans reckon ban among the gods, and of the Menzans he says, that they were ship goats and the he-goats rather than the she-goats, wherefore in the Egyptian language both Pan and a goat are called Mendes, and Strabo reports of Mendes, that their Pan and the goat are worshipped, if these sort of creatures were worshipped by the Egyptians in the times of Moses, which is to be questioned. The Israelites might be supposed to have followed them in it, but if that be true, which Maimonides says of the Zabii, a set of idolaters among the Chaldeans, and other people, long before the times of Moses, that some of them worshipped devils, whom they supposed to be in the form of goats. The Israelites might have given in to this idolatry from them, and be the occasion of this prohibition. After whom they have gone a-whoring, idolatry being a spiritual adultery, a forsaking God, who had taken them into a conjugal relation, and been as an husband to them, and cleaving to idols, which were as paramours, see Jeremiah 31. 32 Ezekiel 16, 26. This shall be a statute for ever run to them throughout their generations, not only this of not sacrificing to devils, but all before commanded, particularly that they should bring their sacrifices to the priest, at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation.